Wow. <sighs> Fighting all day for that. Oh, a relief or what? So pleased. Right, so we're down at Northwick. We're into July now and they've, the fish haven't spawned yet. And um, a couple of my other lakes have been shut and different things. So um, I've dipped in and out of here for the last maybe six weeks or so. I've been getting them right in the edges. So today we're gonna see if we can't nick one out of the edge somewhere along this bank. And So Kit's on the barra. We'll do one more brew and um, probably move 80, 80 odd yards down the bank. Um, it enables me to sneak a rod into to a little bay that they like to use and I've caught a few from. Um, they, they do like this bank full stop, but um, yeah, not so much this end this morning it seems, but um, I've seen a few down there. So we'll have this, this tea or whatever and um, get moved up there and get some rods in position for later in the morning, I think. Yeah, we'll get a couple of ribeyes for later, I reckon. Ribeyes, bit of salad. Right, there's one. This is where I, I mean, this is why on dark yesterday, I see a couple out here. They've been loving this little bit. I have had a few bites from along that margin, but these remnants of these big fat bubbles out here, that's where one just sloshed out a minute ago. There's quite a lot of that in the bay, so there might've been a few in here overnight. I mean, I got my head down and I didn't get up till just before light, but um, they might have been showing in here after dark. I'm keen to, to have rods in here for tonight, I think. Just, I don't know mate, just got a feeling about one of these good ones. Very good chance, this, this afternoon I'd say. It is looking good, mate. Right, we'll go get sorted, I think. Everything's packed up. We'll just get them rods in and, and get them round here and get them, get them out there. I'm tying a couple of rigs up, a couple of little low hinges. There's a bay round to my right here. And rather than cast across, I'm gonna poke a couple of rods through over there, just lower them in off the tips. They do get in here of an afternoon. They do love it in the afternoon, especially with a bit of a breeze, which we're due to, that's supposed to pick up and a bit more and blow in here. So all being well, it should, um, we've got a chance this afternoon, I think. I mean, what is it now? Getting on for midday, just about right, really. From here, you get a good vantage point over the rest of the lake. It's, I mean, it's a funny time, like, I mean, I've been down a couple of times lately and they've been, they've really loved that bank. It's a little bit different this, like, I got down last night and they've not quite done what they have, had been doing, but that's the thing with dropping in and, dipping in and out of a lake and not keeping in touch with it. It's difficult to always um, know exactly what their patterns are and whatnot, but we'll have a go. We've got some cold beers to hydrate ourselves this afternoon. With a couple of rods out, summer fishing. Oh, sweet. 
few 12 millers. I don't want too many small bits. The 12 millers are like quite a nice, happy medium. They're quite pretty discreet, aren't they? Not big round balls. Do I think? Right, a few handfuls of bait around that. The important bit is getting this line down, right down. Yeah, I love this sort of fishing, without doubt. I mean, I said to you earlier, I mean, for bites, maybe fishing the island might be the one, but I get a real kick out of this sort of fishing and that's, for me, that's what it's all about. Catching them on, in an enjoyable way on your sort of terms and that, this sort of thing's right up my street. I don't get to do lots of it, right up close and personal, often you're fishing right out in the lake. But this is great and they don't know they're being fished for. Cold beer o'clock, what do you reckon? I think we deserve one. Oh, still ice in here. Mega. <laughs> right, we're just coming up to three o'clock. Um, the rods have been out since sort of midday-ish, something like that. Um, but I'm sort of fully expecting um, sort of the late afternoon to be sort of the hot time on here. That's when it seems to, that's when they seem to feed. Um, you see, see them fizz up in the edges and that, and the odd show. Yesterday evening they showed, um, see a few shows in the evening. Um, so I'm going to get another rod in position ready for that, that, um, what I think is going to be sort of bite time. And I'm pretty confident something could happen this afternoon. I think we'll see them. If I don't catch one, we'll see them somewhere. But um, I've baited a couple of other spots around the lake, so I'm going to keep an eye on them. Um, I'm not fully set up yet, so I can sort of move at the drop of a hat. I'm not sort of, I'm sort of like spring fishing, if you like, in as much as I'm not committed to an area. I'm baiting lightly and I'm fishing the edges. Um, they're, they're sort of in spring mode, these carp. I think um, in as much as they've not spawned yet and um, it's all about the edges. I really I can't help feeling that there's something that there's, there's something to be found somewhere on here. Um, it's just a case of sort of not resting on your laurels and keep looking until you you find something. Like I earlier in the season I had that the box fish, uh, one, one of the real nice ones from here. And that was like my fifth, fifth move of, of the trip on my third night. I'd had a takeaway pizza with, with a mate over there and just weren't happy where I was down in the corner. So I went for one last look round, see a bit of fizzing in that, in the channel swim round there and got two rods out for the night, just, just underarmed out, a few handfuls round each rod, sat back like real, uh, a real sort of confidence swept over me and I knew I'd made the right decision for the night. And 
sure enough it was like I had a 30 pounder and then just on dark or just into dark and next morning I had a 44 pound mirror which is probably the, the, the one I wanted the most out of the pond you know and so it just just goes to show not not to sort of like rest on your laurels and to keep searching for something better elsewhere do you know what I mean it's, and I, I really you can't help feeling that that is there's something it's just a case of how hard you look there will be there will be a chance like to find it's a case of sort of like not relaxing too much and just getting up about and looking I mean we, we've been looking all afternoon and, um, baiting up a few little margin spots and that to keep an eye on keeping an eye on the cl clarity in those little areas and a bit of f fizzing and whatnot and seeing fish on the spots often these spots I'm baiting they're a little bit out of depth sort of like to see but there'll be signs of some description if they're fed on I'm sure um, and well um, I'm going to get another rod sorted in a minute and sort of sit back and chill for the afternoon but at the same time I'm going to keep my eyes open and and um, either I get a bite or I find something else to go on elsewhere. All right. I feel I feel like I need to be talking to someone. Maybe talk to the tree. Yeah. Side shot, nice. Liner, come. On. Let's go and chill. Wind's better now, isn't it? Climb out there. Does, doesn't it now? Right in this corner. Looking good, little boy. Yeah. Oh, you reckon we should get round here shortly and get another margin rod out? Can you reach that? Branch, Thomas. No, no, no. Let's snap it. All right, let's go. Fish are already in residence here. So I'm gonna try and lower this in and see if I get away with it. Right, I've just put a float out to a, just off the side of this island here where I see one show earlier. Didn't really want to have to do this, but I think it might be the best chance of a bite. So I'm gonna, I've put the float out there. I'm gonna scoot out in the boat, which you're allowed to do if there's no one else on. Put a couple of scoops of hemp and tigers over it and then um, get the float in, wrap my fishing rod up to it and out that goes. I'll probably put a double tiger nut on there. And um, we'll see what the morning brings if I don't get coated to death. <laughs> You'll love doing this, won't you? Just 
a few scoops. It's really scratching for a bite. Like I say, the old, uh, they've not spawned yet. They've been a bit, been really funny this last 24 hours. So I try and nick a bite, I'm gonna bait tight. Just hemp and tigers, no boilies. Try and be a bit different to what I'd usually do. I'm gonna put a rig bang on this float. See if I can't nick one. Simple bottom bait rig. Um, what would you call it? A slip D multi rig. Just you loop a, loop, loop a hook on nice and quick. I like the way it sits. Don't tend to use many bottom baits anymore. But this is prime for it out here. It's nice and clean. Um, yeah, it's just clean basically. Clean enough for one, so. It's a little bit scratching as well for a bite, so I don't really want to use a hinge out there. Got a Brazil nut on there, just because really. I used to use Brazils quite a lot when I was fishing over bits and bobs. Nice balanced sort of weight to it. Just a little bit different. Again, when the going's, going's a little bit trickier. There's not many 20 pound commons in here. If there was, it'd probably get one. That'll get them, it? Oh. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Fighting all day for that. Oh, a relief or what? So f pleased. Literally dooming a bit. <laughs> Weren't we just a minute ago? Why well, haven't had a bite? Oh. Be out of the blue, that wouldn't it? What one is it? <laughs> yeah, how about that then. Nice way to end the day. Did think it weren't going to happen today, but right, right on last knockings. Get a bite on this rod round the back of the bay, and. Uh, I've actually caught this one before. I haven't had many from here, but I've had this one before. He's a 30 pounder. He's called the, the Light Twin, I think. One of the old ones, but it's probably not, probably not the nicest carp in the world, but but that'll do. And uh, now steak dinner now, eh? Nearly 11 o'clock and we're doing dinner because um, I caught one last knockings, which was um, between us both. We've, we've worked our bollocks off all day, walking around and looking and different things. And uh, it's, um, I thought we weren't going to get one, but in the end, the rod in the bay here went. Um, which, to be fair, I did call it like that. that it's that last two hours of of light seems to be when they're at their most active, most chance of a bite. But, um, there's a few showing this morning as well, so I'm sort of hopeful for the morning. Couple of steaks, 
and some couscous and vegetables and that. And wash down the cider. Happy days. It's a much carpier morning this morning. It's um, a bit windier, a lot more cloud cover, a bit cooler. It's looking good for a bite. It does look good. I've not, not seen a great deal yet. It seems to be the way on here. The morning starts slow and build through the day a bit, you know? So, um, yeah, I might, I might move a couple of rods about yet, but um, I sort of, I'm just gonna keep my eyes open and. Keep watching, see see what happens, and and act on that accordingly. Oh, you get that? <laughs> Flipping out as loads there, aren't they? It's times like this, I wish I'd have um, got a little bit heavier with the bait. I only put a few scoops of hemp and tigers there, like next to nothing. Ah, some boilies down there with a hinge would have sorted them out. <laughs> Flipping hell! They're just loving that island, aren't they? There's bites there to be had. I'll tell you that now. You know what? I'm really thinking of redoing this rod and redoing the bait as well. There's a stack of fish there. Hell. Right, this is what I'm going to put out there. It's um, just a low lying hinge rig, uh, trusty size for Kamakura Choddy, a quill cork ball pop up. Um, I don't know, 10, 12 inches of end trap soft um, with a big loop, one end. That's for sort of anti tangle purposes and um, quick change. A uh, little bit, little bit of putty halfway up. Um, yeah, just. I mean, you can, you can fish this rig over, so it doesn't have to be just over boilies. I'm fishing over a few bits and pieces, some nuts and whatnot out there as well. Sort of relatively tightly, tightly put, put around a float. Um, so yeah, this will hopefully this will sort one of them out. But um, shows have stopped now, but we'll see. We'll get this out quick. You join us like um, sort of four o'clock-ish now. Um, had a bit of a chance this afternoon, sort of lunchtime on over an overhang over there where I got a rod in place. In hindsight, a little bit high up the shelf, maybe a couple of three foot up, up the shelf higher, higher than I needed to be. They, they drifted off. I don't know if I spooked more. They'd probably come to the end. The, the, the sun came out and it went red hot there. I think there was a bit of that as well. They had a fish and chips for lunch, followed by 45 minute bit of a lie down because we've been really working at it and um, bombing about the lake and looking for, for opportunities. 
Um, and now we're up and about now, we're having a brew and um, weather's changed for the good. It's come over all drizzly and um, wind's got up, loads of cloud cover. It's looking really good. It's in a couple as well. Um, oh, I'm just thinking it's sort of on the change and um, this afternoon's like the real good chance this afternoon. I might have a move, I'm not sure. I'm just sort of um, looking to see what's what. Um, I might have sort of shifted a little bit further along that bank. Um, I've got a rod in place off the island, which that where they were this morning. But um, I mean, this is like, I feel like I'm chasing them a bit, but they are quite mobile and they are, you have to be, it's not classic summer type fishing where you're, you've got to be sort of, sort of bait and wait type thing. It's more like spring fishing. So um, I'm not opposed to have a, to, to having a, a bit of a move this afternoon and lower a couple in off that bank. I'm not entirely sure, but um, we'll have a look. How lovely, mate. That went really nice. There's fish in residency, there's fish about. I'm trying to get this done. As quickly and as quietly as I can. We'll get away with this, I don't know, but just in a sheet up just down here. Really, I've noticed this area, they do get in here of an afternoon. Sooner or later. When this ripple pushes in here, don't half look good. I just see a fizz come up in amongst the, the ripple earlier. All right, let's get that kettle on. Over the last hour, they've, they've really been sheeting up on this rod. Um, I've also noticed they've been, they've been fizzing sort of maybe six foot to the right of it as well. So what I might do um, later is um, put another rod down the side of it. So two on the same clip, um, I don't know, six, eight foot apart, something like that. Um, they, they, I mean, they were definitely out here this morning. Um, so that way, I mean, I'll be I'll be sitting pretty for the morning bite time, but um, I'll see I'll see how the evening goes. They they sort of intermittently come they come back and fizz for five minutes, then they'll go off, come back and fizz. They're not feeding really really hard, but definitely got a chance of a bite. Evenings don't get much better than this. Just had a pizza dropped off at the lake. The sun's setting. See what the morning brings.
Right, I've got to reefs, mate. Sorry. Right, I'm gonna tie um, a couple of fresh rigs and put two rods out on that. Now I had spot. <coughs> They've been all over it this afternoon. Keep, keep coming back, feeding for like, I don't know, five minutes, bubbling up and that. I want two rods there for the morning. Probably got 10 or 15 minutes of light. So I've got to get this done quick. And then pigeon. Roast pigeon. Fried. Pan fried. Jory sponge for dessert. Cheesecake. Lemon. Yeah, mate. A bit of lemon cheesecake and washed down with a Pepsi. <laughs> Living like lords, aren't we? Right. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I'm gonna scoot out in the boat and bait that. Boiling nuts, 12 mil. Pick up. Boiling nuts, yeah. It's enough for two rods, isn't it? One more handful. I'm a nightmare. It's gone out lovely. We've got two rods, eight foot apart, over, I suppose, a kilo of 12 millers and some nuts. All hinges on. Hinges, do you like that? Yeah, all hinges on them turning back up like they did this morning, in the morning. If they do, it's game on. Summer carnage tonight, isn't it? Rod's out for laugh light because we were chowing down on pizza. Take away to the lake. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's not just the fishing. Having some lovely times as well. Trying to get that balance of both, isn't it? Bit of serious fishing and some nice times with your mates and that. That's what it's all about. Finishing the day with a, a barbecue simply to get rid of the bloody gnats. But um, I've got two rods out there that I'm well confident in. Come the morning, if those carp turn up like they did this morning out there, then um, there's a very real chance of a bite. And um, there was a couple of real whackers showed this morning. Um, so I'm still really confident. But um, either way, whatever happens, it's been a lovely 48 hours fishing. Really worked at it, tried to carve opportunities out of very little. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see what the morning brings. And we're away. <sighs> Weren't loads of activity out there, to be honest, but... Oh, I just need to get this in. Come on. Come on. <sighs> oh, it's done nothing all fight. Relief. <laughs> Bit of a pig's ear with the other rod round it. All right, some waders, I think. Right, so after a couple of frustrating days of chasing fish around the edges, it was clear that I needed a couple of rods off the corner of the island. So I got a couple of rods in position last night and then this morning, one of them's gone with a, with a 32 mirror. And a lovely way to end a, a couple of days fishing where I've really worked at it and um, it's been well enjoyable. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Sweet. Right. One more brew and we'll get off, shall we? 